Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I have an exciting video because I'm going to be reviewing the new Shop Masse Perfect BB Cream and Setting Powder. Now, as most of you guys may know, I am a Shop Masse affiliate, so they did send me these products, but that's not going to alter my reviews. You guys know I've been putting out a lot of reviews lately and they've been quite honest. And so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch some of these colors on myself. They did send me the Fair, Light, and Medium shades. And a lot of you guys always tell me, Jasmine, you don't look like a medium. Girl, I'm going to swatch these and I'm going to prove you wrong. I am a medium. And so I'm going to go ahead and swatch the fairest shade first. And I want to note that these are 1.01 fluid ounces. And... I will read the description online for you guys and it's so weird because I already purchased these and I was going to review it and then they were like, oh yeah, well we're going to send them to you so thank you so much. Um, and so this one is light and then finally we have medium. They have a total of six shades and I think that's pretty impressive because they're all only one dollar. Here are all three shades. I'm going to go ahead and read you the descriptions online. It says a light to medium coverage buildable. It's moisturizing, looks like your own skin, brightening and color correcting, evens out skin tones, and you can use one of their face primers for a perfect combination, which is what I have today. And it also has no SPS, so there is no white cast or flashback, and they are all cruelty free. They generously sent me all four of their loose powders, so I'm going to go ahead give you guys a quick rundown of all of them. So here I have the brightening powder. By the way, all of these powders have 7 grams of product in them. This one is a brightening peach tone for light to medium skin, and it also has tiny light reflecting particles for a beautiful glow. Personally, I don't think that this one is one that I'm going to get much use out of just because I don't always gravitate towards peach undertone products, um, just because I'm very yellow. And then I have have the translucent powder. This one is just a universal skin tone setting powder. Very resemblant of the RCMA No Color Powder though. We have the banana powder which is perfect for medium to dark skin tones or to help with dark circles and dark areas of the face. And finally we have soft light which says it is a brightening light yellow uh, lighter than banana shade for any skin tone with a subtle shimmer. We're going to start off with primer today. So I have the AOA Studio Wonder Skin. This is the poreless primer. I personally don't see like a huge difference. Like this isn't like a pore professional by any means, but it does a good job of just lightly blurring the skin and prepping it for application. For application today, we're using the Shop Miss A Wonder Blender. This is the Paw Paw Charity Sponge. I will have a video linked uh, for the review on the top bar right here. And I also have the AOA Studio High Def Brush in F8. I also have a review for this and I'll just link it up here for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and use the medium BB cream all over my face. Now the thing with BB creams and the reason why I don't use it is because I feel like they aren't giving me enough coverage. Like I just feel like... It's just a moisturizer to me. It just blends right into my skin. So the fact that it says it's a light to medium coverage kind of entices me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the Wonder Blender side right here. I do have texture and blemishes towards my chin area. So I'll uh, let you guys know how that is after I blend it out. My skin looks pretty good. It's definitely a light coverage for sure. Uh, right in this nose area, right here, I'm still a little bit red. Um, as for my blemish areas, it is still red. And I think the areas that don't have any blemishes, it looks really, really good. Um, we're going to go in with a light second layer to see how it layers up on top of itself. And I am finding myself liking the sponge application way better than the brush. Um, I just feel like the brush takes off a lot of the product just because this is such a light coverage product that it just soaks up into the brush a lot. We're going to just do a little bit more of a patting motion as opposed to like a swiping motion and see how that works out. 
Wow, okay, yeah, it definitely is buildable like the claims say. <clears throat> My voice just cracked. Wow, yeah. Now it's definitely a medium coverage, which I really didn't expect, to be honest. Like, I really thought this wouldn't really work. <laughs> I really do not like tinted moisturizers, and I do not like BB creams. So the fact that my skin looks really good right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the lighter shade as kind of a concealer, see how that works out, since I feel like some of you guys might be curious to see that as well. So here I am just applying the light shade. Did I grab fair? I grabbed fair. We're gonna take light on the other eye and whoa, well, yeah, light is way better. I am a natural beige and Maybelline foundations and L'Oreal foundations. Those are my two true shades. I'm also natural beige in Too Faced Born This Way. Um, so if you're that type of shade range, that's where I'm at. That's why this medium works out really well for me. I totally forgot to mention the consistency, the smell, all that stuff. So the smell just smells like lotion. It doesn't really have a fragrance to it. The consistency is really thick, but not in a bad way. It's thick to where you can tell you're gonna get coverage. And the finish on my skin, if you can't tell, it's almost kind of like a satin, almost like a demi-matte finish. Um, my skin feels very breathable. Like, do you know how sometimes when you apply foundation and like right in the smile line area, you just feel like, uh, like it just feels really tight. This does not feel like that. It feels really, really good. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out now that I've had the lighter shades sitting on my face for quite some time now. Um, that will just give it more coverage. It's a Jackie Ina trick if you don't watch her. I love her. It really does build on top of itself really, really well. I'm stuck between trying two different powders. I want to try soft light and translucent. So I'm going to use it on both sides of my face. So we're going to go ahead and kind of set the area. I don't really want to bake today. I am not doing anything. I'm honestly just studying in the library today. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, flip it upside down and shake it a little bit with the cap on and then I take the product out like this and then I'm just gonna go in with the sponge okay and then just continue to tap it in that's all you really want to do just tap 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 and then I'm also going to set my chin as I normally do this one is soft light by the way so soft lights going under my right eye and on my chin and then translucent is going to be placed under my left eye as well as my forehead comparing translucent to soft light the translucent side is a little bit more whiter I'm just going to pat it down with my shop Mise wonder blender um, just so it doesn't look too cakey because I just feel like the brush grabs way too much product this is what my skin looks like up close. And I know if you're watching this in HD, you could definitely see my textured areas right here. And it's not emphasizing the texture at all. And if anything, it's actually making them look a little bit more smooth. And I think that is a combination of both the powder and the BB cream. The powder itself feels very, very soft. Like it feels very, very velvety. It's almost like a complete hybrid of the Laura Mercier powder and the Cody Airspun, which is what I use interchangeably. So I did the flash test and you could just tell that towards like my nose area, you could just tell there's flashback. And then, I don't know, towards my chin area doesn't look that bad. I don't know, I feel like comparing both sides, I feel like the translucent side on me has more of a flashback than the soft light side. Um, that could just be because it is so white. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and I'm gonna, you know, come back in at the end of the day and tell you how I feel about the product. Hey guys, it's been seven hours and boy, do I have a lot to tell you. So today I was actually touching my face and I know, that's so wrong of me to do, especially when I'm <laughs> reviewing complexion products, but I just couldn't help it. So what had happened was I was eating and I was like, man, my eye is really itchy. And I was like going in at my eye. And then I was like, what's on my eyelashes? And I quickly remembered I was wearing mascara. And then I quickly remembered I was doing this review and I stopped and I was like, what am I doing? And so after that, I was like, okay, don't touch your face, Jasmine. Just don't do anything. And then Angel calls me 
I, I cried, I got emotional, I haven't seen him for a long time, and then I was like dabbing the tears off my face, so I was literally like, the worst today but I do have my review on this product for you guys now as you guys may know I use a translucent powder on this side and I use the soft light powder on this side I went to different parts of my house and I took different flash photography photos on my iPhone just to see what my face looked like and I just think that the side that I used the translucent powder on it just looked a lot more white than the soft light side and I think that is because the soft light is almost like a hybrid with the translucent and the banana powder so it's a soft yellow and the translucent is more of a white now I do think that these are great formulas the powders but I just feel like having it marketed as something that's not going to give you flashback is something that I feel like shouldn't have been mentioned because I feel like when I look at myself in the mirror like I am doing now, I look great. I think that this side looks translucent. I think that this side looks very soft and very, not very yellow, but very soft yellow. And it looks great. I look great in person, in regular photos. But when there is flash involved, I just feel like that's where things go wrong. I don't know if there's a certain ingredient that's causing this. I don't know if the translucent side is too light for me or if it's not translucent at all. Um, but but I am going to continue using these powders, see how I feel about them, and you know, from the time that I am filming this to the time where I upload this video, you will see in the description box some updated reviews on this product. And as for my BB cream, I actually think that it's amazing. I really do think this is like a my skin but better type of look. Also, I do want to mention that the lights that I'm using to film this video are very bright and very white, and so I feel like the light is capturing capturing a lot of the reflecting particles of the powder on my face and it's making me look a little bit more washed out than I normally am because when I look in the mirror I look fine but when I look in my viewfinder I look a little washed out so I don't I don't really know um, but I do think that this BB cream applies way better with a sponge I think that the brush application just soaked up a lot of the product and I felt like I had to use a little bit more than the beauty blender side oh well, I mean I didn't use the beauty blender I use a wonder blender so right here I have a lot of texture and I feel like it did a great job with just evening the tone not necessarily giving it a lot of color um, as for my chin normally that is where a lot of my product just wears off throughout the day the chin is the first place where my foundation or concealer or powder just leaves like it's gone have a good day I'm not gonna see you ever again <laughs> and then as for my forehead area amazing coverage and I also want to note that after I stopped filming I actually applied a little bit of bronzer a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlight and the application went very smooth because it dried down by itself and it dried down to just a really nice soft matte finish and I felt like the application of my powders on top of this went absolutely beautiful and the wear time of the bronzer and blush and highlight just look amazing it doesn't patch off it doesn't like you know look all crazy it just looks very natural and it just looks like I woke up with this skin it looks absolutely amazing and as I said before I did rub my eyes so right here you are going to see a lot of darkness but then again I was crying I was rubbing my eyes and so that's kind of given that I'm going to have you know some wear off right in the under eye area but if I'm standing right here it doesn't look that bad everything just looks like normal skin I have tried a lot of BB creams in the past and what has happened with me personally I would use the medium shade and that's normally what I go for in BB creams but I have a feeling that a lot of companies who create these BB creams tend to go towards this peachier route when you know normal normally medium toned skin girls are more in that warmer neutral range so I think that concludes my review you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye peace out Girl Scouts Oh, 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 oh,